is going on everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the shop uh today we're gonna do you know it's it's a it's a new month which means every month i get a box from monster bass so we're gonna do november's monster bass box uh i did take a peek in this the other day when i got it and a lot of these baits very simple super super simple baits to use uh, you don't even have to put a whole lot of thought into what you're doing with them other than um, the thought process would be is what I'm doing right now working if the answer is no it's not working then you either need to a speed up what you're doing B slow down what you're doing um, are you fishing too shallow or are you fishing too deep? That's about all you've got with the thought process on this. There's not a whole lot of, am I actually doing it the right way? So with all that being said, let's jump into our November Monster Bass box. Now, November uh, here, it's the fall. As you see, I got on my camo. Um, me and a friend, we went out scouting an area for uh, some hunting that we're hoping to do. So... I thought about putting on my Monster Bass hoodie or a shirt or my hat, and I just said, you know what, let's just go with it. So, I got my camo on, I haven't got a chance to get out hunting yet, like I said, we went scouting today. But we still got plenty of time to hunt. Uh, here in my state, uh, hunting season goes into February, which ends with archery. Oh, excuse me. But as far as the fishing go, okay, you're still in the fall. So depending on where you're at, that weather transition here in Arkansas, we've kind of had an up and down. Uh, we've had a couple of weeks where it was hot outside, and then we've had a couple of weeks where it was cold, like cold. So weather temperature is still playing a big part in the, um, the water temperature. So you got to keep that in mind. Pay attention to your graph uh, on what your water temperature is. That's going to also help you determine... Uh, the speed that you want to fish your lure as well as the depth. So with that being said, you guys already know what Monster Bass is. Monthly subscription. Uh, you sign up for it every month. You get a box of lures sent to your house. Uh, again, Monster Bass, you can pick the regional box, which is the one I have here. $35 a month. The base that you will get is basically tailored to the region you fish. So whatever your weather uh patterns are the the fish patterns is the biggest thing you know the spawn season pre-spawn um that late summer fall all of that stuff the baits have been chosen that should fit your um your weather conditions and everything else to help you catch the most fish and that big fish catch that pb so uh, i'll leave a link down below so you guys can sign up and get your first three months I believe if you pay for the $35 ones the first three months and then that fourth month uh, you get a discount on it I believe I have to check into that but overall Monster Bass is a great great company the people there are great and then if you sign up or not really sign up but check out Monster Bass's uh, YouTube channel a lot of their pro staff they do videos on how to fish certain baits how to rig baits along with other things and most of the time you see the ones who advertise this and they're always fishing out of a boat. Uh, with monster bass, you can get anything from fishing in a boat for bass, crappie, whatever else. And then they've got an ice fishing box. So you might get a video where they're fishing on ice, they're fishing in kayaks, they're fishing off of the banks, whatever. Uh, monster bass also has a line of rods. So this truly is... A subscription company where you could say it is your one-stop shop you can get your rods your reels I believe they have reels I know you can get the rods probably get fishing line you can get your lures your terminal tackle you can get it all at monster bass so like I said I'll leave that link down below so you guys can get you some monster bass let's jump into this box as always you have your guide booklet here to help you along the way uh, talks to you about the different periods that you're fishing. You get messages from a lot of the pro staff that will be featured. Uh, the baits that are in here, you pretty much have a 
layout of those lures and how to rig them and fish them the best uh your setups to use for these i mean it's all right here they take all the guesswork out so open the box read the book and you should be out on the water catching fish in no time so let's just jump on over here now okay we are talking crankbaits and a lot of people think crankbaits is a fast moving bait which it is but it still is a good way to catch fish even in the fall so here we go with the 13 fishing this is called the flatty daddy the reason why they call it that is because this is their uh, flat sided crankbait and I don't know if you guys can really see that but like that is pretty flat it's got a little bit of roundness to it on the sides but for most part it is flat that's going to help with that wobble, give it a nice tight wobble. And about this time, that's what fish are looking for. Um, you know, it's it's just really a good searching lure. Uh, it will help you find those schools of fish. And then if there are some that aren't uh, willing to bite the crankbait, then you know you need to switch over to a finesse style um, setup. So right here, you have the 13 fishing flatty daddy crankbait dives down to six feet I really like I don't know if you can see this but right there on the bill you see though that black letters right here under my finger uh, that tells you right there that this lure it dives down three to six feet so this is a shallow uh, running crankbait uh, like I said it dives down to six feet it comes in at a half ounce and it's 2.5 inches it's equipped with two premium VMC uh, chemically sharpened treble hooks, flat sides create a tight wobble and super erratic hunting action. Actions and performance of balsa, which balsa baits are really good crankbaits, but you know, they're hard to fish sometimes. I, I'm not a big crankbait guy, so I can't really get into all of that. I'm still learning crankbaits, but I've heard a lot of people talk about those balsa baits, crankbaits made out of that balsa wood. This is a plastic one. But they've got the action down to almost uh, mimic that balsa wood. Uh, again, three to six feet deep. The structure and cover, you want to throw this over humps, uh, over brush piles. You throw it in open water. Uh, throw it around riprap points. Uh, throw it around. And if you can, get it up under those docks. Throw it around rocks and lay downs. That bill will help deflect off a of cover. And when you do that, I would probably let it rise up a little bit because on that pause, it's probably when you're going to get those uh, get those strikes from that fish. Uh, let's see. Suggested gear for this particular lure. Uh, we have a 7 foot medium action glass composite casting rod, 14 pound fluorocarbon, 6.31 gear ratio reel. That's going to help you slow down because sometimes with crankbaits, uh, you, you stop thinking about what you're doing. And now you're just throwing it and bringing it in. Throwing it, bringing it in. Well, that lower gear ratio will help you slow down a little bit so you can concentrate more on what you're doing. Okay. We're moving on, still sticking with crankbaits here, guys. Okay, like I said, this is a good time to throw crankbaits. Here we have the Thunderhawk. Hold it the right way. Thunderhawk. This is called the Sergeant. Uh, it's a lipless crankbait, so this is your rattle traps or for the, the um, Strike King guys, your red eye shads. This is one of those. This one is a silent. Meaning it doesn't have any kind of rattles. It's not a one knocker or anything like that. This one is a silent one. Sometimes too much noise can drive those fish away. So sometimes you have to be um, a little more stealthy. So let's see here. Uh, it's got one rock uh, knocker in there, but I'm pretty sure that's just for weight. To help with the casting. Uh, it's a silent one. So it's not a whole lot of rattles. 
half ounce, 2.5 inches, upgraded technology and cosmetics applied to a proven timeless design produced loud acoustics, tight wobble when swimming and enticing uh, shimmy on the fall. So as you're letting this just fall down, it has a nice little shimmy to it as it's falling. And let's see here, it's got number four EWG treble hooks. Water depth, you wanna fish this on the bottom. Throw this around humps, ledges, open water, riprap, points, docks, and rocks. Again, your gear, seven foot medium heavy glass composite rod, 14 pound fluorocarbon. This time we bumped up to a 7.2 to one gear ratio. You can, you can uh, swim this one a little bit faster and uh, get that, that good action out of it. Lipless crankbaits are always a good way to catch fish, especially in the fall. Um, if you notice this color here, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention that on this one. I'm going to go back to this Flat Daddy. This one is called the number two old. I'm not even sure what they're calling that color. I don't even know. The color on this one is a chrome chartreuse. So, shad imitating. You could probably yo-yo that thing, kind of imitating a dying shad, uh, shooting up and then just letting it die down. It's a great way to fish lipless crankbaits. Another great way to fish lipless crankbaits, uh, just throw it out there. I wouldn't really say burn it in, but just throw it out there and give a good steady retrieve and just swim it back. Though always a good way to catch fish with a uh, lipless crankbait. So you, you never can go wrong with that. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I didn't skip anything here in the beginning. No. Okay. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Okay. We're going to the Strike King. These are the Fat Baby Finesse Worms. The color of these is called Prism Shad. Lots of salt on these. I like that bulb tail on there. That, that helps it kind of stand up, give it a little bit more action. Wow, these things are loaded with salt. Like, I've got salt all over my hand just pulling that one out. Uh, and I can smell that coffee on them, too. It has that coffee scent in these. Uh, this one is a pack of 12, 5-inch coffee scented. Uh, fishing this on the bottom. This is a bottom feed or bottom bait. Structures, humps, ledges, open water, riprap, points, docks, rocks. You can't go wrong. Suggested seven foot medium action spinning rod, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader to a 20 pound braid main line. The real 2500 series spinning reel. Uh, you could probably set this up on a finesse Texas rig on a spinning setup. But uh, I'm going to set this to the side because there's another setup that we're talking about in this that will go with that really good. Okay, and then we have the X-Zone. Uh, these are called their X-Zone Lures Pro Series True Center Stick. So these are just the X-Zone stick baits. 5-inch. Uh, this is a pack of 8. As always, these are full packs. These aren't like sample packs. The, the lures you get in these, if you went to uh, any other tackle store, you'd get the same thing. So you always get a full pack. Uh, this is a stick bait here. The color, this, this looks like a goby color. Um, it, it does not say, I guess 309 is the color that they're calling this. Uh, again, you can fish this around grass humps, uh, tules, reeds, brush piles, open water, riprap points, docks, rocks, and trees. Gear suggested for the 7-foot medium uh, spinning rod, 14-pound fluorocarbon, 7.2 to 1 bait caster. That sounds so weird, but whatever. Fish how you want, you know? Now, here's... What I was about to get into, because I don't know why that was the only baits they mentioned. Um, I also have in here another crankbait. It is the Lunker Candy Sugar Daddy 6. It's very, very 
a small crankbait because you also have to remember the bait sizes have started to uh, get smaller. This one has a crawl pattern. So with this, you're imitating a crawfish uh, four to six feet in depth. And this color is called spring crawl. So again, you know, you can fish this as a finesse crankbait or again, you just downsizing your bait size and your crankbaits. Now, let's get into these two plastics here. Uh, they're both set up on spinning setups. And here's the reason why. Monster Bass has sent a wacky tool. Okay. And what the wacky tool is, it's very simple. Okay, you take your stick bait or whatever it is that you want to use. It's already preloaded with those O-rings on it. So you just take that first O-ring and slide it down. Okay, you take your lure. It don't matter which way you go in. You can either go that way or you can drop it in this way. It doesn't really matter. But what you can do with this is set up a wacky rig. And depending on how you want to fish your wacky rig, uh, this one actually, you have the big uh, chunky part of the, the worm body here. And then I noticed that there is another one right here that looks like it's pretty much setting you up on where you want to put your, uh, your O-ring. So when you put your worm inside your tool, you line it up there. on your worm. Now, the way they have these, I don't think you guys can see it, but right there, if you see where that little piece of white light is shining through my O-ring, it's a hole right there. So it, it's making it easier for you to actually hook this O-ring and then fish your wacky rig. And in fact, it comes with a pack of Mustad Wacky Nico hooks. These are uh, number two size. It's a four pack. So you have that right there. And then, of course, when you run your hook through there, you have your Wacky Rig. Now, if you want to, Monster Bass has also sent a pack of nail weights. It's a pack of eight 1 16th ounce nail weights. You slide that weight into the head there. And now you have a Nico or Neko rig, you would still, you would hook it differently. You'd want to take your hooks, okay, if you're fishing Neko rig, because with that nail weight in there, this is going to sit on the bottom like this. So what you would do is, my pinky here is going to be the hook, you'd want to hook it this way. So as you're dragging it along the bottom, when the fish bite, your hook point is already pointing up to penetrate that fish's mouth. If you're fishing this wacky rig, you would just come through on either side and then you would fish it that way. But now you essentially have two different setups. You have a Neko and a Wacky and you have everything right here that you already need. And then of course you have your crankbaits. So that is one of the reasons why you should sign up for Monster Bass. Monster Bass, you literally can go to the store get you a rod and reel, get you some fishing line on there, take your monster bass box and head out to the water and start catching fish. It is very, very simple, it is easy, and it saves you a ton of money. Reason why I say that is because the items here that we get from monster bass, if you compare those prices to Tackle Warehouse, this is about $50 Normally, it's anywhere from uh, $50 to $55 worth of baits that come in this box that you're only paying $35 a month for. So, $35 a month and you get different lures. Sometimes, you might walk past all of this stuff in a tackle shop and not even buy it. 
But with Monster Bass, it kind of exposes you to other ideas, other ways of fishing that you might end up liking. And then, of course, in the back of the book here, uh, Thursdays, YouTube uh, Monster Bass goes live on YouTube. They always have guests with them. Uh, today is the 23rd. So we don't have anything coming up as of right now. We'll have to see what we got uh, next week. Also has a page with the different moon phases. So that way uh, it helps you plan a better fishing trip. And then uh, take a picture of your fish, send it into Monster Bass, and they might include you on this back page here with your PB fish. Or even if it's not your PB, but just showing off a fish that you caught with your Monster Bass products. So, and then as always, you will get a, if I can get it out, you have a card to get you a free lure. This one says receive a Thunder Cricket on any order of $20 or more. So, you go on there, order you $20 or more on stuff, you'll get a free Thunder Cricket. Always, always, always a Monster Bass sticker. And this one looks like they just went old school retro Monster Bass logo. Can never go wrong with just going old school with some stuff. And then your golden ticket. Tune in on Thursdays when they go live. They call out your number and you get a chance to win some cool prizes. So that was it for November's Monster Bass. I hope everybody is getting a chance to get out there and do some fishing. I haven't done a whole lot of fishing. And uh, like I said earlier, I haven't had a chance to do a whole lot of hunting. I am hoping to change that in the future because I love being outside and being in the outdoors. So that's all I got for this Monster Bass. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop comments down below. Smash that thumbs up button if you like the video. And if you love the video and you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you click on the bell so that way you get notified every time I do a video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. I'm actually sitting. I got a small little table here in front of me. And I got me a chair out here in the shop. So now I can do some of my videos while I'm sitting down. Hoping to give you guys better angles on some of this stuff. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in. See you guys in the great outdoors.